you keep trying to rationalize this person's terrible behavior and terrible treatment to you. But what you need to do is stop and recognize your worth, recognize your power, and recognize that they are bringing you nothing but pain, okay? It's time for you to let go of the past. Oh my gosh, look what's underneath that ten of swords. The freaking lovers. It's time for you to choose you. And the king and the queen of pentacles. Okay, sweet. So... It's time for you to choose you because you have a history of not choosing you. You have a history of like straight up choosing shitty partners and staying in those relationships for way too long. And you keep trying to rationalize, well, maybe they did it because of this, or maybe their phone died, or maybe they took a nap, or, you know, maybe they're hurt, maybe this, maybe that. What about you, though? Like all these times that you're trying to be giving the benefit of the doubt to this other person... What about you? You've been telling yourself, telling your intuition, and telling your higher self, we're not as important. Let's keep chasing this person who obviously is not treating us like we deserve to be treated. And it's like you're preventing yourself, one, 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 from walking into new love because you're so afraid that this person that you're holding on to, they're my soulmate. They're the one. I'm never going to find anybody good enough. Like... No, you are operating from a place of fear and ego, honey. And ego doesn't mean, oh, I'm great and I have a big head. Ego is fear. Ego is the umbrella term for I'm disconnected from God, truth, source, the divine, whatever you want to call it. It's my fear, my anxiety, my worry, my limiting beliefs. That's what ego is. So ego, your ego is keeping you stuck to this person. So you need to stop listening to those videos that are saying like, they're they're not letting me go and they're pulling on my energy and them 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 because you're giving all your power away to something that's outside of you because that doesn't even make sense so somebody else is holding on to my energy so what if they decide like i'm gonna hold on to this and i'm gonna put it in the box for the rest of ashley's life so she just has no free will and she has to suffer forever no no you get to choose what you subscribe to so unsubscribe to all this dark energy and unsubscribe to all this they won't let me go and there's nothing i can do about it and i've done all these cord cuttings like how many times have you cut the same cord how many times have you lit a candle and lit a candle and done a burning bowl ritual that's not what it is that's not helping every time two three four you keep doing that you're just bringing it alive and bringing it alive and bringing it alive the only way that you are going to actually let this die is to let it die and how you let something die is to take your focus off of it so every time you bring your focus back to this shitty ex the shitty situation some of you are not even freaking with this person okay no you got to tell yourself no I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on something else. And I don't give a fuck what you focus on instead. Watch cat videos. I like prank videos. I love prank calls. And there's tons of stuff on the internet that is funny and that will make you laugh. Do something that will make you laugh. Because you're just going to spiral out of control if you keep focusing on the same situation. And it sucks because nobody is going to come save you. You have to do it yourself. But you are meant you're meant to be in a relationship that works. You're meant to be with a person, but you have to start accepting that it's not the past person or they would still be with you or they would have treated you better or that shit would not have happened. They were there for a lesson. Okay, look at all this chaos. They were there for a lesson to help teach you to pick yourself. So please, Start picking yourself.